hello friends in this video I am going to show you how to create groups in SCOM I am on my SCOM server let's go to authoring tab in authoring tab you can see groups and in left hand side you can see a button called create a group but in the middle of the pane you can say there are groups that are already created and if you click on view group members you can see the members of that group so it has been DC 2019 so this group comes with that uh, management pack that I have imported in last video and then we have group for Windows Server like Windows Server 2012 but there is no computer in this group because there is no computer with server 2012 installed so here you can see windows server computer group here you can find all the three members okay so here are the three servers that is showing that are the part of windows server computer group okay so let's create our own group so the first question is why we create group because there are multiple teams that are focused on few VMs right like uh, DB team is only focused on DB servers they don't care about DCs because they are not going to do anything with the domain controllers right so we can create a group for DB for web application like a application support team they only care about the application that is hosted on those web servers okay so if you have a this type of condition then you can create small groups and then you can target those groups to create a views or performance views alert views okay let's click on create a new group and create group wizard open you can give it a name so i will keep it web os3 that is the domain name and uh, all dcs okay however there is already a a group that I have shown you that have all DCs but still uh, for this demonstration purpose I am going to create this because there are few servers in this environment now whatever you create like group or task in future videos I will show you how to create task monitors we have to keep it in a management pack so you should have management pack if you don't have any management pack you can click on new and directly create management pack from here you can give it a name like uh, web os3 management pack and it depends upon how you want to keep your data like you can create management groups only for monitors to keep the monitors to keep rules to keep tasks okay so you can give it a name like uh, management pack for monitors management packs for rules so it totally depends upon us how we want to categorize the things you can give the description of this management pack like what is the use of this management pack and what is there in the management pack then we can create a knowledge base for this as well but for this demonstration I am going to skip these things and click on create you can create management pack from the administration tab you have to just right click and create management pack you will get the same window as shown here it takes time so keep patience so management pack is created and it is also selected over here okay click on next and here you can see right it says explicit member so you can just search those member and add it to the group that is explicit I don't want to add any explicit members over here I want dynamic members just click on create and target is Windows computer so most of the time your your target should be Windows computer you click on add and here you can choose like NetBIOS computer name contents DC 
because I'm looking for all my domain controllers in my environment so click on ok and it has created a formula if I create a new DC it is going to add to this group automatically ok then click on next if you have already a group you can add those as a subgroup over here but in my case there is no subgroup I'd want to add over here so now click on next and exclude objects so you can exclude object from here might be some members that has DC in its name but it is not actually a domain controller okay so you can exclude those objects from here so let me cancel it and just create this group so I have uh, cut the waiting time with the magic of video editing yeah it takes time so give it some time and uh, now the group is created so let me scroll down and I think I need to refresh my page and here you can see web OS 3 all DCs okay this is the new group that is created and if I go to view group members I can see bin DC 2019 okay if there are more domain controllers and domain controller contains DC as a NetBIOS name then those servers will be displayed here okay so if I create a dom new domain controller and it contains the name as DC in it then it is going to be the part of this group automatically you don't have to do anything let's go to the view group state the state view of domain controller has few warning few state are healthy few are not monitored okay but these are related to the members of the group only okay you cannot see the SQL server over here so this is the state of your group or selected group and now view diagram so you can see the diagram of your group so this has only one window DC in it if there are multiple DCs then you can see here in left or right of this window DC okay and that I will show you in coming videos when I will deploy more DCs okay so let's close this window and uh, check the property I can do and uh, in future if you want to explicit add any member you can add over here okay and if you want to exclude any members you can do that as well over here and if I want to change the dynamic members I can do that as well so you can just click on create edit rules and here if I just change it to SQL because there is one server that has a BIOS name with SQL okay and click on apply it is going to check all the managed servers in your operation console and then add the members that is going to satisfy this rule okay now click on ok and now if I click on view group members group members it changed to SQL server so let's go to properties and change the dynamic member to SRV and click on OK apply now if I click on view group members I can see two servers SQL and SCOM server click on close and if I now click on view diagram you can see two servers under this group okay let me change the property to DC once again the most useful is NetBus computer name and the IP address so you can you know create a group with the IP addresses that has a specific 
IP address okay equals contains less than or equal to matches wildcard you can match okay so let me change it to netbios computer name and click on ok apply you can make this query complex by adding more rules okay like computer start with or contains this and uh, uh, IP addresses this if your query formula is complex then when you click on apply it will take time and it depends upon your infrastructure as well if it is a big environment it is going to take time because it will go through all your managed agents unmanaged agents or uh, in a single word you can say your full environment click on ok So this is how we create a group in SCOM and in future lesson I am going to show you how to use this group as a target and make a views make a performance view alert views okay so that's it for this video we'll see you in the next one